today we're going to make gluten and wheat free puff pastry using Oast to Host gluten and wheat free pastry flour. The other ingredients that you'll need is some water, some salt, some butter, um, the utensils, scales, um, a metal bowl, grease proof paper, knife, spoon, um, a rolling pin and a measuring jug um, and we use this shaker which is um, absolutely one of the essential ingredients in our kitchen. Uh, it's filled with potato flour but you can use corn flour and the reason why we prefer this is because it's less gritty than other gluten and wheat free flours. Right so let's get going. I've weighed out my pastry mix, uh, my pastry flour into a bowl 195 grams to which I'm going to add 117 grams of water. The water straight from the tap, um, not from the hot tap and it doesn't need to be chilled water or anything special like that. 117 and a pinch of salt. We have this handy little spoon which measures which measures one pinch. Which I believe is it's one gram. If you want put a good pinch between the fingers as well. You use a ready um, a, a salted we use a salted butter when um, when folding in to make the layers. So you will have an element of, of, of salt in there best. With a spoon mix the, the water and the salt and the flour together to make a dough. I use the metal bowl because it's a much better conductor of, um, for the cold and you want to get keep, keep the, the pastry relatively cold. You can mix this in the mixer but it's as easy just to do it by hand. So mix it together until all the um, flour is mixed, absorbed into the dough. And then leave it. Put it in the fridge to chill while you flatten your pastry, uh, your butter between two pieces of um, grease proof paper. Now as you can see the bowl is relatively clean and my dough is in one bowl so I'm going to now put it in the fridge to chill. Okay so my um, uh, dough mix is in the in the fridge um, and so now I need to roll out the butter. And the best way that I've found is to Weigh your butter. Um, you need the same weight of butter to flour. So this is a 250 gram uh, block of butter, and I need to take off uh, 55 grams to get it down to the 195, which I need um, for, uh, for for rolling. So there we are. I've now got my 55 grams off. So what I've, I've found, a little secret, is to cut your butter in half. You don't want it too hard because if it's hard, it's going to be really hard to roll. Um, so not straight from the fridge. I would take it out a little bit before. I'm now slicing my butter into, um, into thirds, the, the, half, the halves into thirds. And I'm laying them on the greaseproof paper next to each other. Ready to roll. So I want this to join up, cement together to make one patch. I'm going to lay the other piece of grease. grease grease proof paper over the top and then I'm just gently going to 
roll it together. And this will be um, the block that I'm then going to fold into my pastry to start making the layers for the, um, to get the puff. a thinner version of what it was before. And I wish I could do it's my it's similar to a triangle shape. It having um, if you've got it slightly sort of folded on one um, out of sync on one side, you really sort of want a, a rectangle if you can. Um, but uh, that, as long as it's all joined together, then um, it's going to make it much easier for when you do your folding in. I have my pastry ball, which I've got out of the fridge. So now I'm going to just put some of the potato flour on the board, and I'm going to start to roll the pastry into a a large rectangle. I need it big enough to be able to envelop the whole of the butter which I've flattened um, between the pieces of greaseproof paper. So I need it to be double the, the width um, and a little bit longer. Just make sure that um, the flour that the pastry doesn't stick. As you can see, it's, it's very malleable. Just with your eye, just keep, keep an eye on it. I think I've got it to the right height and now I just need to work on the length. But I don't want it um, to stick to the table because that might be really frustrating. And keep it as neat as you can into the into a triangle. Put your bread, your butter over the top just to see how you're getting on. So you need it just a little bit wider. That way my eye tells me that that would be perfect. your butter on and fold your slices your um, sides over so you want it to be complete make sure it's not stuck anywhere turn it fold down top and fold up the bottom so that you can make it into a, a sealed parcel enveloping your, your butter inside and then start to roll it flat. Now you're going to start to put the, the layers and the air into your pastry. And you can see I've now sealed it Make two indentations and fold your top over to the middle, your bottom up over, bottom layer up over. With the rolling pin, seal down the, the sides and turn it. This is trapping the air into your, into your pastry. And then roll it again into a, give, give it a quarter turn and roll it again into a into a rectangle. Two indentations, top and bottom. Hold up your rolling pin, seal it, and give it a quarter turn. 
see now I'm starting to get the layers on. Do this three times. I'm now doing it the third and last time. If you get if it gets a little bit sticky on the top, don't panic and please don't get yourself into a mess. Just um, a little bit of dusting of the of the flour and roll it into your into your rectangle. Your indentations fold from the top and from the bottom, and then with your rolling pin, seal down the sides, trapping trapping the air. I can't emphasise how important it is to trap the air. Now I'm going to roll my pastry package into the paper that I use to roll the butter. And I'm going to put it in the fridge for 10 minutes. It's now been 10 minutes. I've got my pastry. And again, flour, lightly flour surface, to put my pastry into the position so that I've got the two sealed ends um, coming towards me and away from me because that's going to be the way that I'm going to start rolling. Roll my strip. You don't want to get this too, too chilled because then it's harder to roll and you'll, you'll get more splits. Roll it into a nice rectangle, two indentations, fold over, over, and then your two sides trapping in the air. And turn it. Quarter turn, you start rolling, rolling again. A nice long rectangle. Starts to get a little bit sticky. Put some potato flour underneath, or corn flour, if that's what you prefer, or what you have to hand. Two indentations. And then with your rolling pin, seal the sides. And give it a quarter turn. And this is the last, last time of doing your, your turns. Make sure it's nicely sealed down. That's trapping the air. Roll it again. This is your last time of sealing in the layers. You can go on and on and on if you want to, but this is perfectly acceptable for a puff pastry or sausage roll. So there I have it. That is now going to go in the fridge and the next time I see it will be when I make it into my recipe.